Hello and welcome back to No One Place. Uh, today we're going to attack Brunswick, which will put us into conflict with Poland as well. Speaking of Poland, we can fabricate another claim on them. Um, there we go. I would enjoy to take all of their Polish lands. Which means we also need one from... Yeah, I would enjoy to take Memel and then make my borders around the Polish land. Yes, it will be a pretty big blob here in Central Europe, but I mean, I'll take it. We don't need any of the French lands. Except maybe Elsa's Lorraine. And I'm not actually planning on eating Switzerland as well. They can stay the way they are. Yes, we can call in Sweden, which we certainly will. And we'll declare for Hanover. Uh, we have Friesland that will not join in, for whatever reason. And Holland, which is probably pretty scary, as well as Poland, which is very scary. And I think it's time for... Nope. There we go. An additional... Yeah, it's too many military leaders. I think I'm gonna get rid of one. I wonder which one. Oh yeah, the one that's shit. As opposed to the one that's actually pretty amazing. Especially considering... That sweet... Sweet... Oh, I'm siege. I mean, holy shit, that leader siege. Shows up. Plus four. Giving us a negative 21 for a freaking capital siege with a fort. And we only have two cannons. Since additional cannons would be fairly expensive, so, yeah. Also, the alliance with Sweden will pay off here, it seems. They don't have a lot of units. But, at the very least, their fleet will keep the Polish fleet away. Should be fair, my own fleet could do as well. But not if the Dutch decide to show up. I love it. This could be a very short war. Nope. Get the fuck away from here. I surround you. I surround you now. <laughs> Our discipline. It's already so good. Can we get in there? Probably not. No. But we can at least hold them off. Sure, let Swedes attach, no? It's fine, Sweden. You don't have to help in this war. I can do all the all the heavy lifting myself. After all, Poland sucks. That might be the entire army as well. And no, co-belligeranting Poland would not have been a good idea at all. Because that would have called in stuff like Lithoderpia. And Lithoderpia is too strong for me. Lithoderpia probably being the strongest nation in the East. I oh, guess, I haven't actually checked in a long time how strong nations are comparatively. With the Derby at 29,000, pretty scary. On the other hand, Sweden actually has a lot of units. Didn't expect them to have this many. Just 
Keep on loving. So why do we even have human players on the zone right now? Where's it? Ah, oh, there we go. Human players. Off. Off with you! I'd like to have most of them in there. Ah, yes. We're gonna form Tremene and of course have a fine Prussian goose step. As well as possibly some other ones, but. Oh, that's up. Not for debate, but it's up in the air with other kinds of achievements we could possibly cr make happen here. So, where are your entire armies? Oh. You're dealing with some separatists. Fun. Absolutely fun. <laughs> I love it though. He's so good. He's so good. A four freaking leader siege. Don't get that every day. Ah, shit, stop. How dare you, Verdon? He lost all of his claims. So, he lost his reason for existing. That's the way I look at it, at least. If he has no claims, he has no reason to exist. So, goodbye. Also, I love the fact that we are a freaking kingdom. I didn't know that. I didn't know he actually changed into a kingdom. Like, you have this exclusive ability to be a kingdom in the HRE. You're the king in Prussia, of course. Not of Prussia, but the king in Prussia. Where? What? Ugly exclave? I don't have any ugly exclaves. You mean this one in Poland here? It's not truly an exclave. An exclave would be completely cut off from my nation. Uh, but it's not. It actually has a connection right here. It actually does cut off Poland. Oh shit. Well, I guess I can peace out Holland. And all, all the trees, Holland. Some more reparations and some money, please. That is a lot of money. But I definitely don't want their land. Hey, yeah, we can use the money. Invested in a better future. Baltic, a better future underground. <laughs> I get so many questions from Twitch, which is kind of funny. Why do I not start as the glorious nation of Saxony? Well, because I don't plan on doing the Saxon achievement. Only plan on doing the glorious, glorious Prussian achievement and the German achievements in this. Actually forming Germany for once in Iron Man. So let's see if you can actually get there and destroy Poland in time. And we could possibly use this war to smooth out the exclave a bit or the the little peninsula out here that we have in Poland
which I do a bit, is kind of like a tumor. But it does state our intention quite well of expansion into Polish territory. Because I cannot have Poland exist. Well, Poland can exist, I don't care. They just can't have any Polish territory. I want Polish territory. It must be incorporated into Germany. Must be Germanized. Could it be? We once again no longer get succession wars. Just a Habsburg noble on the throne, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Also, Poland, you suck. And it's great that you suck, otherwise, I would have a hard time with you. Shoot, I need to freaking get Memel. Will the sweets ever come down here? I don't know. Maybe, also that would have been a great opportunity to squish the Polish army. Possibly, if you ever get there. Oh, well, we could. We could just literally march through here and get down there without any problems. Last days of Danzig. What is this? Oh. Yeah, I don't really like those last days of Danzig. Just use, lose some church power. Doesn't really help anything, and church power is still not important. I mean, yes, we can gain some additional benefits, but are those benefits really that great? Hey, sweet on is here. Sweet on is up for the challenge of fighting Poland. Thank you, Sweet on. <laughs> well, hello there, Poland. You would like some land? Must disappoint you. I'm gonna be the one taking land here. Coming in negative 14. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Whoa! Okay then. And Hungary is honored. Poor oh, guys. Hmm. Diplomatic relations plus two. Well, till the death of my current king. Which is probably fairly soon. Ah, let me just get a freaking stability. I'm sure that new guy is not going to be terrible. I'm just sure. I hate it. We're not going to get away, are we? We are. Yay! We got away. Way. Swinging my freaking flag around. I 
Some more is not gonna end well for them. <laughs> Overkill. Okay, just get all my units out of there. Score! Absolute score. Get ourselves a pretty great air, of course. Um, he's H0 right now, and we're already H47. So I'm expecting a Regency Council. But that's alright. A Regency Council will be alright if we, you know, if we can expect it right now. Uh, we're gonna have a time of peace anyways. Like, we are going to need peace. After these wars. So yeah, Lithuania bit off a little bit more than they can chew. That's fine with me. I can possibly separate peace and humiliate um, the Hansa. Probably don't take any territory because that would be way too expensive. But it will be a lot of money for me, the like, Lithuanian Hansa war. Well, maybe I'll take some territory from the Hansa. You know, for good measure. To show them that they just can't toy around with me. What the fuck? Like, where did the freaking Austrian army go? Why is it being toyed, toyed around like that? What's going on? God, of course, that's how Hungary got in. They dishonored my alliance, but because Lithuania attacked me and I'm a member of the freaking empire, Austria actually didn't defend me as an ally, Austria defended me as the emperor. So, turns out he could call in his allies, so get an extra 20,000 right there. Oh yeah, you screwed. You so screwed. Oh, poor me. All I want is discipline advisors all day, every day. But I can't even have that. And we continue on. We got this wonderful, wonderful set of wars. I could have, it could be better. We're also running through our manpower horribly quickly, but I just don't want to uh, lower the amount of men in one army any more than I already have. I say while splitting these armies. Yeah, but they're like on the edge. Of all the fighting, so 
I don't think that counts too much. We're still very few in the actual Polish war. But just enough. Just enough to take them out. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, where we finally kick Poland's ass after them being so scary out here. And the uh, East threatening us together with Poland, Lithuania and of course their ally that was Sweden. Which we now have finally torn apart from them. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys next time.